Right, back. Okay, so uh, yeah. Tales of the Booter. Well, the Booters are back on again. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I did go last week. So, a little bit cheeky, but to be fair, I didn't know I was going. It was a last minute on Saturday night. It was alright. Depends how you look at it. Technically, I probably did better if I needed half this stuff from last week. So I'll show you last week's now, and I'll show you today's afterwards, if that makes sense. So last week, I uh, met with my friend that I think I've mentioned before. He buys DVDs and all that kind of stuff. He, uh, that's what he does. Um, he'd, over the Christmas period, picked up a few, two bits for me that he very kindly kept to one side. And they are Toy Commander on the Dreamcast, fully complete. And this one I was really happy to get is uh, Freak Out on the PlayStation 2. And he's like I say, he's a top lad, just let me have one. So it's blue back disc, one of the early ones. Really weird, quirky kind of game. So yeah, they were freebies. So, was there many tales? Not really. It's, the, this isn't the normal one that I, I would go to. And again, this is the same one that I went to today. I just, I don't particularly like it. Um, it's not, it's not for me. It is full, and here we go. It is full of lizards and traders. Literally, it is horrendous. Last week was a little bit different. Um, believe it or not, it was a lot more busy last week. I think this week, because it's been Mother's Day, and the clocks are gone. It wasn't quite there, even though the weather's been absolutely gorgeous. So, last week was a bit weird. Uh, like I say, it's not my normal horn. It, I don't really like it that much, but I picked up some alright stuff, I must admit. I did okay, I didn't spend a great deal of money. So first thing I've got, I managed to bag is uh, a Dreamcast. Now my mate who does all the DVDs, he, he was actually after one of these. I haven't tested it, so that's why, you know, potentially I might just, if it works, it is really grubby. Uh, that might be going to him, because he does look after me a little bit. And, it, and actually, surprisingly as well, it come with the component. Which you don't normally see with Dreamcast. Not component, the composite. Normally it's always RF. Because these didn't ship, Dreamcast didn't ship with uh, composite, the ship with uh, RF, and it's got the controller. That was four quid. I had to haggle him down, obviously, as you do. Um, again, I don't think anything. There wasn't anything stand out last week in terms of, you know, tales to tell. Because it was so last minute, I wasn't really, you know, I just went and thought, well, fuck it, I'll go. If there's anything there, there's something there. If not, don't matter. There was a chap. That's with that. So I'm just trying to sort out. There was a chap there selling a couple of PSP games. Oh, yeah, something like Will Poker. Something out, something out, something out. Only a handful of games. One of them was Vice City, I think. Uh, about four games, I said to him, how much you want from me? He said, oh, pound each. I think I got them down to two two fifty from. Uh, got them back. Subsequently, a couple of them already had, like the Vice City and whatnot. They've been moved on anyway. Uh, but the two I kept is Godfather and Gangs of London. Something like fifty p each of that. I think they worked out. At. Random Xbox game for the collection. Tony Hawk's into round two. Again, probably no more. I wouldn't have paid more than a pound. And there was a guy yeah. He was uh, obviously like a trader type guy. He might have been a collector, I don't know. But he had like an Amiga 600 boxed, uh, in a box rather, with loads of games. He was asking 90 quid. He had... What else did he have? He had some out and he was asking silly money on it. And then he had a PlayStation. And he had a price on it, but apparently it fell off. Or so he said. Because I was looking for it just through the games. He went, oh, I was selling that as a bundle. I had... I think he said like 35 quid on it or something stupid. So I've got a lot of money after these couple of games. And uh, he went, oh yeah, they're a pound each. So weirdly enough, I'm really chuffed to get this one because I had it off the freebie package, but it was missing the back cover, I think it was. And that's Poed. Poed, Poed, Poed or whatever, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, there's some screenshots of it which I obviously couldn't show you last time. So I'm really happy to get that and it's actually in better condition than mine. Huge chunky manual, so yeah. 
and this one, which is unfortunately, the case is fucked, is unfortunately missing the, in the inlay. I don't know if anyone's got an inlay, but it's Toshinden 4. Now, I'm guessing it's, it is Battle Arena Toshinden 4. Uh, it's all back, I say, it's just missing the inlay. Okay, the last one was Ridge Racer Revolution. This is basic trade fodder, if anyone wants it. I've got it. It's all there. It's all complete. Manual, everything. And then I picked this one up from someone else. I had to pay 50p for this. It is Roll Cage Stage 2. So that's Roll Cage 1. It's quite well received. There we go. So we're nearly done from last week. Uh, there was one chap who... So last week it was like... Where, where it, this car boot is, it's all in these different halls. It's all in, in, indoors. And you get really... For me it gets really disor disorientated. I can't keep track of you know who's turned up and what's where and stuff like that. And so it's very hit and miss in terms of what, what you manage to, to, to drop on. Uh, that, that's kind of why I don't like it as much. So case in point... It was that big last week that it spilled out onto the car park, which it did rain last week. You would have fucking hoped, thought it would have been like this week. It, it, that wasn't the case. So it spilled out to the car park anyway. And there's this chap, well, the, obviously this chap hadn't set up. He was one of these ones that like obviously goes and looks for stuff to put back on his stall to sell. Uh, so towards the end-ish, I say end-ish, probably more like 10 o'clock. For me, that's, that's the end of the car boot. He started setting up. And to be fair, he was a nice chap. I seen him again this week. I had a right laugh with him. Just chatting away. He, he reckoned these were his sons. I'm not sure about that. Um, excuse me. So, yeah, he was getting stuff out. He had a lot of LCD monitors and all that kind of stuff. He's an Asian chap. They're all, you know, I'm pretty sure most car boots have, have, have an Asian guy who deals in computer-ish stuff, you know, motherboards and all that crap. And I said to him, oh, you ain't got any old any game stuff have you? I was like, ooh, game stuff. He goes, oh, I've got some PS3. And I thought, oh, I'll have a look. Because at that point, I hadn't really found a great deal anyway. So he pulls out a few, few uh, boxes of stuff, like a box. Because how much are they? He goes, oh, they're a couple of quid. Looking for one of them literally jumped out of me. I was like, I'm having that. So I grabbed that. And like I said, I was chatting to him. <coughs> I said, oh, a couple of quid. He goes, oh, not that one. He goes, not that one. That one, that one's four quid. I was like, oh, four quid's still not bad. Um, and that, like I say, chatting away to him, I said, oh, um, well, I'm really after the older stuff. So I was sort of chatting to him, like near his sort of boots, stuck my head around the boot, and I see sort of blue. I said, oh, like stuff like that. He's like, oh, that, all that. N64 controller, blue one. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, oh, yeah, I ain't got the thing for that. He goes, I don't even know if it works. I said, I'm not bothered. I looked, checked it, sticks all right, nice and tight, you know. Um, so then we were like I say, was chatting. I said, oh yeah, I, I, I collect them, kind of thing. This, that, and the other. And uh, so I ended up picking up for five quid. Yeah, it was five quid. Skyrim, the PS3, and the N64 controller. And Skyrim's got the map, the cloth map, and everything, right? And the disc's fine. So I thought, that ain't bad. That's usually, what, eight quid, seven, seven eight quid? If that's, I thought that's not bad. I ain't played that. I haven't even gotten the 360. And look, like I said, sort of chatting to him a little bit. Looked at his boot. I said, oh, we're moving stuff about. And I noticed, well, I guess, what about that? Because I've got no power. It's got no power uh, thing to it. I don't know if it works. So I'm not bothered about that. So I pulled out. To be honest, I'm, I'm happy just to get the controller for this. So I've got a Mark Corn Mega Drive. The official thing and then the fucking RF lead, which he insists on giving me. But more put more, more than I'm happy about is a competition pro, six button jobby. So uh, I gave him five quid for them. I said, well, no, actually, no, I'll give him six quid. Tell a lie, that that was six quid. That was six quid. And uh, I said, well, how much you want for that? He goes, all oh, five. I said, well, tell you what, look, call it ten quid for the lot. So I'll give him four quid for the Mega Drive and, and, the, and, the, button, and the, the controllers, which I thought was all right. Mega Drive ones, I'm always going to pick up anyway. Um, just for modding and stuff like that. They're really, you know, nice and easy mods, 60 hertz, 
region three uh, language switch. So that was last week. As I say, not nothing gonna blow the world to pieces. And the same for this week, really. But some nice bits, you know, just to keep the collection topped up. And trade fodder. So this week, today, fucking hell, it was like because I'd sort of gone there with a purpose of, you know, like on the hunt, if you like, as opposed to just having to wander about and <sighs> shit, man. There were a lot of fucking lizards. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Now, obviously, like I said to, to Dad's Cajonus Deloro, you know. To someone else, it was there. I'm probably a lizard. I don't fucking not. I never ever said that. You know, I'm no more entitled to these 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 items than anybody else. But trust me, some of these people they ain't fucking collectors. So anyway, uh, a right old mixture going on, and so a couple of like sort of stories. Got there dirt early, literally really really early. Um, Walking around, and a few things sprung to mind initially. I picked up. What did I get? What did I grab first? That was it. There was a guy there that well, I'd seen him walking around anyway. I knew he was, he was picking up games and DVDs, Disney DVDs. That's what he's, he's mainly after. But he, he, he had a knife for the games as well. He looked at this one woman's stall. She had some PS1 games. And he went through them all, and he kept moving the ones across the other side. So I quite politely said, "Oh, you're not interested." He said, "No, no, you carry on." So for 150, I've got these two. Now this one I've got because I've got this less one disc, and he, he just didn't want it because it's all smashed up. And it's Abe's Exodus, and it is all smashed up, as you can see. It's all smashed to pieces. But one of the copies I've got, it is missing one of the discs, and I can't remember which one. But I knew what he was missing the disc, so I can add that. And then the, the other game I grabbed is Wild Nine. I've got this, but I'm pretty sure mine is either missing the manual or it's missing the insert. So again, nothing is going to set the world alight, but little bits just for my own collection. Just to keep it topped up. Just to keep it ticking over. What did I find next? That was it. Seen these. And look. No, initially I seen a GameCube game, which is split this out, which I've got. So I was like, straight over there, looking around, and it was one of these ones that looked like they'd just fucking fucked everything on the floor. Big fucking pile of shite. And uh, I said to Les, she said, oh, you haven't got any more old game stuff. Oh, no, no, I don't think so. And I said anything like Nintendo, this, blah, blah, blah. No, no, we haven't got anything. Well, oh, fuck, fair enough. Carried on. Did a lap two or three, whatever. Come back again. And saw must have rooted through one or two of the bags or the boxes or something. And I seen these, one of these sort of on, on the floor. I thought, fucking hell, I know what that is. Went over. I asked, I said, oh, you haven't got any of the games that go with these. She said, oh, no, the kids must have, you know what the kids are like? They're just throwing them around. I said, I'd seen the four empty cases and I just sort of bring them along. So I think for 20p, I think it was 20p, I've got four empty Game Boy cases, which are always useful. Really useful to have. Just to keep your games nice and... I know Stu Ninja Bear Hulk doesn't like these. And you're supposed to send me some of these, you bastard. Um, but I, I, like I say, because mine are all in the drawer. So they're quite useful just to stop them scuffing and whatnot. 20p. Can, can't argue with that, can you? Um, what did I get next? Oh, I've got some... Oh, that was it. From like a charity, charity mate. Don't start with charity. But from a, a charity store. What do you think it was? It was like children's cancer which I do kind of support a little bit that's teenage cancer but this one was like um, children's cancer excuse me they had a store there like a young lad and his missus were doing it for charity and they were, they were really reasonable actually the DVDs were 50p each um, load of other shit that was going on there so I'd seen this book um, under the table, so how much your books in a pound? I was like, because it is expensive for books that like car boot. But I thought, you know, it is charity, um, but more so. I thought, fuck it, for a pound, I'll, I'll grab it. 
So I'll grab the Ultimate History of Video Games. It's quite a hefty old uh, tomb or tome. So that was a quid. And then I got these just for my daughter, but that one meant for my daughter because uh, she loves a manga. Origin Spirits of the Past. That's any good. And then this one as well. I don't know what it is. Burn up on the case in your face. I don't know if it's any good. Again, another manga type one. So yeah, they were like uh, two quid. Right. There's a lady there with a lad selling some stuff. And it, I have to just ask her, have you got any video games? I said, oh yeah. I've got Mario Kart, we've got Mario Kart. I said, oh, I'll have a look at that. So she goes into the car, she's faffing about, digs it all out in a bag, and it is, it's Mario Kart and the Wii. She goes, oh, we've got the, the wheels of it as well. So I'm like, oh yeah, okay. Uh, pulls it out, and it's just a loose Mario Kart with two wheels and an elastic band around it. I was like, oh, yeah, not really, thanks. Because how much did you want for it? 15 quid. I was like, mm, no thanks, I'm okay. So you haven't got anything, any more games, have you? I said no. I said, like, okay, fine. <laughs> On my merry, merry way. Walking around, da 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 da, coming back around again. And I look down on, under a table, and it's a fucking box with uh, PS2 stuff. So I said, oh, I thought you didn't have any more games. Oh, I forgot they were in there. Classic one. Whenever anyone tells you they haven't got any more stuff, or even when you ask them, and they say you haven't. Just means they're trying to get rid, fucking rid of you half the time, and I don't blame them. I wouldn't want fucking everyone pying around the car either. Um, so I look in the in the in this plastic tub, and I can't. Remember, someone was asking me about light gun games, uh, light, light guns, the G cons, and I couldn't remember if they wanted G con one or two. But she had two G con two guns with Vampire Night and a couple of. PS2 games. So one of the PS2 games, I wasn't sure if I had or not. So I grabbed that. I said, oh, how much are your guns? I said, oh, I'm selling them with, with three of the games. Three of the light gun games, which are like Vampire Night, Time Splitters, and Summer Outs. So okay, how much do you want? 15 quid. I was like, okay, mm, not really. So I said, how much do you want for this one game? And she, I think she said something like two quid. I was like, so you, you can do a quid? And she's like, yeah, okay. So for quid, I've got uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy. I can't remember if I've got this. This is one of them, I've, I've got it on the GameCube. It's one of them ones that I always think I've got it on everything and I've missed out so I thought for a pound I'll just fucking have it. But 15 quid for two, two G-Con 2s and some, like I say, Vampire Night and some out. I said to us, I said, that's, that's too rich. Well, what are you looking to pay then? No, that's what she said. She said, oh, well, what, what, what do you sell it on eBay for? I said, well, I'm not putting it on eBay. So I collect the stuff. So I've got someone who, who, who's, who's after, and I couldn't remember. And I do forgive, forgive him, I can't remember your name. But he said to me about the G-Cons, and I couldn't remember if it was G-Con 1 or 2. I've got a feeling it was G-Con 2s. But I'm not paying 15 quid, and I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have paid 15 quid, well, more than 15 quid to get them either. So that was that. So that was a little bit of a... Like I say, everyone's, most people are on to eBay and prices and all that shit. Um, another little store went to, young lad and his mum was there, asked them if I've got any games. She said, oh, have you got any, have you got any video games? Oh, no. I said, no, Nintendo, no Sega, Nintendo. Oh, Nintendo, oh, yeah, we've got Nintendo, we've got DS. Fucking hell. So the lad, he only had a couple. He went to his car, pulled them out, and it was like, one of them was like My Sims, I think. And then there was this one. And they all had prices on them. And they were like fucking expensive. Like four quid. I was like, fucking hell. So she was all setting up in that. And I goes, oh, you wouldn't do two on this, would you? And I didn't show the front of how much it was. I showed the back. I said, oh, they're uh, Alex's, which is the little lad. And she said, it's up to Alex. I said, would you do two quid? He went, yeah. I was like, fucking fine. So it's, it's for, for my kids anyway. Finish some verb. 2D. Two dimension. For two quid. On the DS. There we go. I probably scared him into paying, no, accepting two quid, but no, oh well. Right. Do these next. That one's got a bit of a story behind it. Right. Pick these up. I mentioned to Daz 
Cone of Zoloro. Uh, I think we were speaking before, it was after, I had the chat on Skype. I said to him about like collecting for PS3 and Xbox 360, it's going to be like relatively cheap, etc. So I picked these two up for £1.50 each. Right. Hardly any money, really. Uh, I don't know if they're any good or not. But I thought for £1.50, I'll give them a blast. So I've got Dead Island Game of the Year Edition. And Battlefield 3. All complete, all there. I mean, for £1.50, you can't. Yeah, you can't really go wrong, can you? Oh, bugger. I just fell out of that now. For 150 for a broken disc, you can't really go wrong, can you? Anyway, three quid. Twat. It's a matter of practice. Let's move that shite out way. So, I have got that left. Right, I'll show you the game I picked up. I'll tell you the story. So for £2.50, I've grabbed the American version of Super Mario Brothers, and it, it looks legit. You can tell by the quality of the case, anyway. I got that for 2 The story about this, there was a chap there, he was getting all his stuff, pulling all his stuff out of the boot, setting it all up, blah, blah. And I wandered over, there was a, there was a guy loitering. Great yeah, guy, old. Older than me, so yeah, old. And um, I just happened to catch the guy's sort of sight. I said, "Oh, you ain't got any older? You ain't got any any video games, have you, mate?" "No, nah, I ain't got any." "Oh, fuck it." I said, "Oh, yeah, cheers, thanks, mate." And this old, this other grey hair guy walks round his car door with him, like the other side of his car door. And I was just like looking at his boxes, and I fucking noticed that the cheeky bastard goes to his footwell, pulls out some DS games. Uh, they were, I don't know what they were. They were like fucking pets at home or whatever you fucking call it. And then I seen Yoshi's story. DS. American. And the guy was like, I thought, please put them all back. And you know, he picks fucking Yoshi's story. And I, I'm sure he'd give him two quid, right? I'm sure he'd give him two quid. And uh, this grey hair guy fucks off. So as the guys went to put the games down, I said, oh, can I just have a quick look at them? Because I didn't catch the sight of the second one. And it was it was a nothingness game anyway. It was like shite. And uh, that's how the guy set up. I said, "Oh, should I just stick these back down in the footwell for you, mate?" He was, like, "Yeah, yeah, sir, no, no, yeah, cheers." Like, so as I stuck, put them, went to put them back in his car for him, I noticed that was stuck into something else. So I pulled that out. And he goes, "Oh, amps your game," and his face dropped. Went, oh, 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 I didn't know that was there. I went, "Well, I'm, I'm, sure, and I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, but I can't remember. I can't recollect properly." I'm pretty sure he looked round for the fucking bastard to fucking snipe me. Because I'm pretty sure he must have said to him, oh, I've got a couple in the boot. I've got a Mario. Whatever. Uh, and he went, four quid. And I went, oh, would you do two? And he went, mm, three. And I went, 250. He was like, yeah, so that's what I got for 250. But I thought, you wanker. Fucking wanker. It's, that's, it's brutal, mate. It's fucking dog eat dog. Right. This is an interesting little bundle. It's all PlayStation 1. A lot of PlayStation 1 looking about now. Um, as I was going around the booter, there was a black lad there. And uh, I seen him in one of the other booters I've gone to before as well. And there was, a, there was two or three other groups of people all sort of scouting around the same place. Like when I asked that guy about this, got any video games, he said no. Literally, I could just see it. None of them would ask anybody. That was a weird thing I couldn't get. None of them would ask but when I asked. They all just fucked off. I'm thinking, fucking hell. There must have been about eight people. As soon as I asked the video games, they said no. All fucked off. No word of a lie. That's how bad it was, right? Uh, and this black lad, he was one of them. I've seen him before. I knew he was, he was, uh, he was into his games. And to be fair to him, he, 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 he must be shy because he doesn't really, I, I didn't really see him ask or anything like that. But he came up to me. Uh, so I just sort of, yeah, I'm not a nasty guy. I was like, all right, you're like, yeah, yeah. And he had this clear bag. I was fucking gutted. So I'm obviously looking at the people that are just turning up. And to be fair to him, he, he switched on enough. He went back round, 
the old ones. And that's that, that's what I'm saying. This car boot, because it's all in different sections, you can't see what's going on. And he lifts up his clear plastic bag. He had a boxed N64 and about what looked like about four or five sealed N64 games, like Mario, Perfect Dark, and everything else like that. And uh, he goes, oh, they're not sealed. They've been sliced, literally like reverse standing knife at one end just to open them up. And he, uh, there was uh, a SNES game. There was nothing, even he said, there's nothing rare in here. But there is a nice little bundle. He paid 35 quid for it. And I was like, oh, that would have been nice. That would have just been, been nice for today. Um, but, so the story of that, regarding that is, there was this one store I went to. And obviously he was on my shoulder like a fucking shadow. This is before he, he came up to me about the N64 stuff. And I asked the woman, have you got any? Yeah, yeah. She says, oh yeah, I've got some PS. She goes, mm, I've only got PS1. And I, I said, I might have some PS2. So like, yeah, yeah, bring it on. Pulled this big box out. I was like, could be jackpot here. And she goes, oh, I've got a bag of stuff as well. So I was looking through it. There's a few a few titles that just literally like tick, 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 tick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, how much do you want for it? So I was thinking about a pound again. I said, no, 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 for the whole lot. She was like, ooh, the whole lot. I thought, fucking hell. So she pulled out these few of her um, PS1 games. She said, uh, she said, what do you think? I said, well, I don't know, 30 quid. She was like, oh, no. She said, I was going to sell the PS2 on its own for 30 quid with a few games. What about 60? Fuck off. So, so and then literally, it's not worth 60 quid. So I went, oh, okay, I'll have a look. And all the other little, little lizards then, because I literally had the box. One guy went to come in and said, no, it's sold. Before it even, this is actually before we sort of, she sort of said how much it was, so that he sold, she fucked him off. Um, then I just picked pick the bones out of it, literally picked the bones out of it. So for 10 quid, this is what I've got. The only PS2 game I picked up, which I do have, uh, yeah, it's got a few little dinks on it, is uh, Fahrenheit, no manual. It's all for a tenner. Quality game, I do have it. So it's got a label stuck to it. Um, point blank. No front, no insert, but I thought, I'm not leaving it there. I thought, I'll have that fucker. <laughs> An empty <laughs> Spyro 2 case. But the case is fucking mint, so I thought, I'm having the case. Bollocks to it. There's not a fucking dink on that. This is a nice little find. I say a lot of this will just it, it's just trade fodder. It's trade fodder or it's being moved on to pay for PC engine stuff. Really dusty. I don't know where she's kept these at all. Uh, Crash Bandicoot 3 Platinum Warped. No no uh, instructions. So I'm just trying to sort these out because I haven't even gone through them. Uh, Crash Bandicoot 2. Rafa Cortex, no manual. I do have some manuals from my mate, but I don't think they're platinum, which is a bummer. But I do have some manuals. So if anyone's interested in them, I need to check the discs actually. They might have a few dinks on them, but. Uh, this one, again, because I haven't got it, and I thought, fuck it, I'm having it. It's cracking condition, uh, Little Mermaid 2. I don't think I've got that. This one I do have, right? But mine is missing, I think, the uh, back insert, and this is in mint condition. And tell you what, right, this looks like a shit game. It looks absolutely awful from the front. But some of the games on this are cracking. And it's, all it's called, it's just called an arcade party pack. So when you see it, you see it like you think, oh, it's gonna be like, you know, like some cheap fucking third party crap. Fucking cracking games on here. Got 720, got Rampage, got Clax, got Tube and Smash TV and Super Sprint. Smash TV is very good. Very good. So if you ever see that one, especially if you only see it like, you know, on the spine, it's worth a pick up, guys. Uh, this one, again, complete and in very good condition. It's everybody's golf. So nothing else, I'm buying for the cases. This one, the case is smashed up. So again, I could trade it out. Uh, no manual, unfortunately. But one I haven't got. Case is cracked. Extreme. 
Extreme 5500. This one I couldn't remember if I had or not. Now looking at it, I think I've got it. Need for Speed 3. Hop. Need for Speed 3. It's called Summit Pursuit. Hot Pursuit. Missing the, in uh, missing the insert. A brilliant game this is. Absolutely brilliant. I do have it. I think mine's complete. I need to check. It's got a demo in it and everything else. And that's Rage Racer. This is a fucking bouting game. One of the few games other than Final Fantasy I've played on the, uh, the PS1. Very good game. Uh, this one I've never seen. And again, like I said to you before, any titles that I've... You know, you tend to see the same stuff, to be fair. No matter where you go. Um, and I haven't seen this one. It's Pink Panther. Pinkadelic Pursuit. Sealed. Okay, it's only it is in the A classics. Motor Racer 2. Sealed. This one I'm not sure if I've got. This was released in the Dreamcast as well. It's complete in very good condition, this vanishing point. And then lastly, I'm pretty sure I haven't got this one. It is missing the manual. Just sort the insert out. That's San Francisco Extreme Rush. So for a tenner. I thought, yeah, I'll have them. But yeah, when the when the lad turned up like a bit later on, the N64 stuff. And you know, to be fair to him, he knew that I was a bit of a collector. And I was like, oh fucking hell, you know, fair play, mate. Because what did you pay? He goes, 35 quid. I goes, fucking hell, you got a good deal there. He went, yeah, there's nothing rare, blah blah. And there was one game in there. And I looked for them all on the N64, so I got that. And they had a Super Nintendo game in there, which was Lamborghini. So all the only one I needed is that Lamborghini. And I thought it was an N64 one. Pulled that, and like I say, he was, he was quite right. He let me like have a look in the bag. You know, a lot of people would be like, "Ooh, no." Um, he goes, "Oh yeah, I need that for my collection. I need, I need that for my SNES collection." So to be fair, he was a fellow collector. So hands up, you know, he did all right. Um, but yeah, it's like oh, you bastard. And I've seen him. I've seen him last couple of years knocking about the place. So. There we go. Right. Uh, last two lots. I'm sorry, I'm just taking a sticker off one of the front of these fucking things. So. Okay, now. We'll leave that one till last. Excuse me. Fucking Retro Dave. Retro Dave burps. So it wasn't very big today. Because of stalls and stuff like that. And uh, one guy turned up a little bit late. Relatively late, if you ask me. And uh, he was uh, of Eastern European descent. But he had some games. New, new games, not, not nothing no retro, unfortunately. Uh, someone else has asked him, he goes, well, how much he, he had the boxes, like, the games were mixed in with the DVDs. And I heard someone say, how much he, how much he, um, games DVDs, he all DVDs a pound, games are two quid. I thought, well, that's not, yeah, two pounds, not, yeah, that's not too bad. And, to be fair, the games he had were kind of like a bit up my street. So I looked at them, I thought, I don't mind that, but this, the, the guy had asked, I think he was looking at a Wii game or something like that. So I grabbed these X, these 360 games. I said, oh, how one up? I said, oh, oh two quid. Goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he realised what I had in my hand. He goes, oh, that, uh, that one there, that, that's five pound. Like this. Oh, fucking hell. So I bundled a couple together. I said, oh, what, would, you do, would you do a 10? He said, yeah. So I'm no 360 expert. So I don't know if I've got a good deal here or if I've got scammed or what. I don't know. So for 10 quid, I've got the last remnant. Which looks like an action RPG. It's got both both discs. It's all there. So there's that one. I've got Dragon's Dogma, Darker Darker Risen. 
Dark Horizon. Horizon? Arisen? That's Arisen, isn't it? And that's got both discs. That definitely feels like a later Xbox, even the plastic. It's done the PS PlayStation job. You can feel the difference in the plastic. Cheap plastic. Um, two welds. That's a single disc. And then the one that he said it's £5. And I thought, well, I don't know. I, don't, I might have been done on this one. I don't, I'm not sure. Let's go for it, it's a limited edition collectors of Final Fantasy 13. So I don't know, some guys out there know, know a bit more about the, the current stuff than me. Um, original sound selection, I don't know what that means. There's all these cards. Sticker thing. I say I don't know if that's what's meant to be in there. The world of book and some card things. I'm guessing it's all there. It looks like it's all there. Um, so yeah, for a couple of quid, I thought, well, I don't know. Is that, is that all right? Is that? I mean, the discs were all there. No, I couldn't see. Oh, that's in the wrong fucking thing. Three discs, three discs are all there, so I don't know guys, you tell me, is that There's something else here? C D set, what the fuck's that? Oh I've got a wireless network adapter installer disc. I don't think that's part of of this. I say I haven't even been through half of this, but yeah, let me know. Got a bit sidetracked there. Sorry, guys. I do apologise. Um, yeah. So that is a bit of a clean, but I mean, for ten quid, I don't know. You tell me. Is that is that all right? Is that, See the old, the newer stuff. I ain't. I'm not sure about because the prices fluctuate so much. And then lastly, the last little batch I got, actually a tallow line, kind of linked into it. Uh, so you'll see where this is going. Grab this for a quid. She had this Sonic One and two sports titles. I was like, oh no. If you wanted a pound, I said, oh, would you take 50p? There's no, there's no instructions, the case is fucked, etc. No, I want a pound. So I thought, for a pound, I'll grab it. I had someone in mind for this, you know who you are. So let me know if you're interested. I've got Sonic 2. No manual, the case is essentially knacked. But I mean, you get cases to a penny. That's a quid. So then the last sort of little bundle I got, and uh, this is one of them times where, I, you know, so if you sort of go on the hunt and whatnot, Lee, uh, not Cube Meister, Nesna, uh, maybe Retro Tom now, Lee 8712, maybe, I can't remember, or 3702 or 007, uh, Dave on my Game Geek, all of us booters. You'll know this. The last thing you ever fucking do when you find a few retro stuff, ask them. Oh, did you have any more? Because you don't want to know the answer. You never want to know the answer, but you still fucking ask anyway, don't you? Twat. I hate myself. So like I say, it wasn't the biggest one. It got to a point where there weren't anyone else coming in. So you go back round again. And yeah, she was eggs is eggs. I think I missed out. I missed out big time. Um, aside from the N64 stuff, which I couldn't do anything about. This one I should have like loitered a bit longer. 
Uh, chap turned up, looked like he was like a, a bricky or a build. He had loads of like drills and saws and all shit, but he had a shit ton of um, collectible cars. Like in boxes, I don't know what they were. It's not my thing. But it was like fucking... Fucking... Evil Day of the, Day of the Dead or whatever you call it. Fucking everyone was like... <laughs> fucking arm. People had armfuls of like to uh, toy cars and shit like that. And I seen a tub and it had some Mega Drive games in there. And they weren't anything special. None of them were anything special, but they were like, oh, I'm not sure if I need that, I'm not sure, I can't remember, I don't know. And the cases were in good nick anyway. So I, I grabbed a couple, said, How much is these? He goes, Oh, I don't know, 50p each. I was like, Yeah, fucking have one. Poof. Took them. And uh, the box was kind of like half empty ish, if you know what I mean. And I went off, did some outs, come back again, and yeah, there was another two or three games that appeared there that I hadn't seen the first time. And it, it all died down, all the sort of hysteria around it sort of died down. And I, again, I made this stupid mistake. I said, oh, was this box full? Like, because obviously I've bought a couple of the games. He went, yeah. He goes, I had PS2 in there, PS1. Because did you have many of these? He went, I had a few. And I just, oh, shouldn't have asked. So for 50p each, right? Like, uh, I mean, I didn't, I think I got a couple of, like, 50p off or whatever. But I've got some Mega Drive games. Now, I would think, I would hope, anyone worth their money, if they knew the Mega Drive, would have picked this one up anyway. So that that's why, on the first sort of purchase, I didn't think there would, would have been anything more, because they, someone would have picked this up, but they hadn't done. So for 50p, all these are 50p, I've got Road Rash, uh, Ferrari Grand Prix Challenge. Again, I think I've got this. It's got everything. No, actually, I've just realised... But someone chopped the fucking back manual off it. No, it's just folded in itself. There it gone. It's just folding on itself. So I think I've got this. But the cases were in really good nick. So if nothing else. The back had just been folding on itself. So yeah, for nothing nothing else, the cases are in good nick. But yeah, it's that one thing that you think. What did what did he have? This this uh, I'm pretty sure I need this one. NHL ninety five. The, the, like I said, they're nothing special, guys. It's all complete. This one I think I've got. But again, I'm not sure quality wise if this was better than mine or whatever. But that's like for the case. Uh, rugby. Rugby World Cup ninety five. This one I do have, but it's one of these um, the newer blue cases that are sort of split in half. Uh, three quarters, rather. Was that Premier Manager? But it's that sort of, as you can see, the half in half case. This one I'm definitely going to have. EA IMG International Tennis. They are in really good condition. Uh, this one I'm pretty sure I've got, but again, for the case is Davis World Cup Tennis. And then two loose carts. We've got uh, Super Off-Road and we've got the Jewel Test Drive 2. So yeah, I mean, they were 50p each. I think the first bundle I'd knock 50p off and the second bundle I'd knock 50p off. Something like that. That's it, guys. It is, uh, it is a fucking jungle out there, I tell you. It's not, it's, it's brutal. Everybody's out to make a, a penny or whatever, and uh, yeah, you've got to be on your game. Definitely be on your game. So that's me done. Hopefully, car boots next week. Hopefully, like I say, tales from the booter. We may have some funny stories. We may not. I don't know. It's the booter. There's all kinds of life forms appear there, as we know. Uh, but I did all right. Did sp I didn't spend a great deal. I've missed out on a few bits, admittedly, but nah. Not much I could do. Take it easy, YouTube. See you in a bit.